Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk you through the importance of a later low point and how you can very quickly improve your ball striking through a couple of very, very simple drills. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. So having a low point, which is after the ball, is so, so important to guaranteeing a much better contact. What we tend to see when we have players come in on, on trap man and, and particularly better ball strikers is that their angle of attack and low point, the two numbers I've got on the screen there, are typically between, the angle of attack is between two and five degrees down for an eight or seven iron. And the low point for a fader, I've seen it go up towards seven inches after, but usually we're around two to five inches after the ball. So that basically means that the lowest point to your circle, because that's all a golf swing is, a golf swing is a circle, okay, tilted to form a plane around our body. Okay, and you can imagine that every circle has a lowest point to it. What we generally see with a good ball striker is that they'll rarely ever hit a ball heavy. We want the bad shot in golf to be a lot less bad. But when you see a not so good ball striker, we tend to see heavy shots, top shots, and thin shots. But with a better ball striker, because the low point is later, they rarely ever hit the ground before because the lowest point to their circle is post-impact. So maybe the worst ball strike, um, the worst struck shot you're gonna see is a overly thin shot, which again, would make up a good amount of yardage. So I'm gonna hit a couple, and we're gonna check out my numbers, and I'm gonna give you a couple of drills which will help you. Okay, hit pretty well. Good, so we're down the middle, nice and straight. So we had an angle of attack of three and a half degrees down, and a low point to my circle of three inches after. One of the inconsistencies we see with not so good ball strike is, as, is that the low point fluctuates and is usually at best maybe two inches after, but often it will be around one inch after. The thing you've got to look at there and, and you know, these people tend to say, oh, I'm great when I'm on the range mat or I'm great when I'm in the studio, but get me on grass or when I go and play golf and my ball striking just goes out the window. And it's because the lowest point to their arc is two underneath the ball. So they're playing golf on a knife edge, okay? They could hit it really well, but equally, if they get on a slight downhill slope, which obviously we don't have in the studio, put them on a slight downhill slope and quickly that low point can move an inch before that and suddenly it's a heavy shot. Imagine when you're looking down on the ball now, a low point being five inches after. It's quite substantial. So it's a lot further left for a right-handed golfer, a lot further left than people think it is. So let's just try and go for one more. So again, that was a, maybe a touch more thin and a slight pull, but again, 3.8 degrees down on the ball and three and a half inches after. Okay guys, so what you see here is I've got two drill sticks which are separated by only maybe five, 10 degrees, not an awful lot. The straight drill stick is my ball position, okay, which for an eight, I'm gonna play just forward of middle. When we put the ball further and further back, it doesn't always guarantee you're going to strike ball turf because sometimes if you're reacting to an open club face, you might feel the need to start to square the face up this way, in which case your low point will end up getting very, very early. So I tend to prefer playing the ball a bit further forward because it makes me get everything a bit more left and delay that low point much, much later. So I'm not a huge advocate for putting the ball further and further back in your stance. The second drill stick, you'll notice is to match the angle of my shaft. Okay, so the shaft is leaning slightly to the left. So it's almost the inside of your left hip, okay? Or you can imagine if we had a plumb line coming down from the bottom of my Golf Pride logo, it would sit roughly about an inch in front of the ball, okay? If we can try to deliver that kind of feeling at a strike or even exceed that, you can imagine when I deliver shaft lean, it's very likely that my club is still going to be working downwards. Okay, and the lowest point to our swing is roughly, and really good ball strikers, we see the lowest point to our swing being just underneath the left shoulder. So you can imagine that would be three to five, two to five inches left of the golf ball. We see a lot of the time, and people come in and they struggle with uh, ball striking, two things. The shaft is either leaning back and away from target because they think they have to try and lift the ball in the air. So the shaft is leaning away, but equally the grip, when you grip it too weak, Okay, so the right hand's over the top, left hand is underneath, and you apply shaft lean, which happens all the time. 
Can you see how that squeezes the club face open? Okay, in which case it's strike. You're going to want to undo that and deliver it more like this. So we need to make sure that the shaft is matching that second drill stick and the grip is slightly on the stronger side. Okay, so there's another video on my channel talking about the importance of grip. And this is why, because what we want, what we want to happen is that when we apply shafting with a good grip and we work the shaft around us, the club face can stay square. But if we have a grip which is too weak and we apply that shafting, now you can see the face is squeezing off to the right hand side. In which case, if you've tried this and you're struggling with a slice still, it's very, very likely that the club face is not strong enough to deal with the sharp lean in the first place. So finally, I'm just gonna hit a couple of balls. One with the slightly stronger grip and the second with a weaker grip. Because this is very, very simple stuff for better ball striking. But it's not so simple if you're having to react to something else happening, okay? So two grips, let's go, let's go the first shot with a slightly stronger grip, okay? Which in theory should tend to work a little more to the left. So we're gonna match that line on the floor. We're gonna get our grip a little bit stronger and then we're gonna hit. Okay, that felt pretty pure. So a ball that started just left of my target line and has drifted back to the right, even though I have a strong grip, okay? Because the shafting at strike is getting the club face into alignment. Now let's try and make a very similar swing. Okay, so we've got a nice angle of attack, four and a half degrees down a low point of 3.7. Let's try and do the same thing, but now we'll overly weaken the grip, okay? And this will show how people struggle with this drill, okay? So we're gonna match the shaft, weaken off the grip. Okay, so I've delivered shaft lean. It's come out the heel, and now it's gonna drift off to the right. The angle of attack was a little bit steeper. The low point was a little bit later, but even still, that ball is going to spin off to the right. Okay, so finally, the reaction, you know, you see that ball flight all the time, you've got a weaker grip, you're trying to deliver the shaft lean, what you'll learn to do is do this. Okay, overwork the hands through strike because that would help you get the club face square, but what it does is it shadows your angle of attack and gets that low point too close to the ball. Really simple feel, a really simple setup to help you strike the ball better and also a reaction if you are struggling with this drill. This drill is often the fix, but the symptom, sorry, the cause of that symptom is the fact that the grip is too weak at setup. So get the grip just a little bit stronger. I've got another video on that. Get the grip just a little bit stronger, match that shaft angle in your setup, and then try to hit a few balls from there, matching that shaft lean. And if the grip is good enough, you should be able to deliver a little bit of shaft lean Get the low point a bit later and the ball still will come off straight. Okay, so hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to click the subscribe button and give it a like for me and drop a comment in the box below with some ideas or some videos that you would like to see or things that you would like help with. I'd be more than happy to get something out for you. Okay, so hope to see you all soon. In the meantime, take care and play well.